Namaste yogis, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean and today we have a very special yin yoga class that's been made by request by one of my followers. Her name is Jade and she runs an event called Yoga Stops Yulin. Now this is a global fundraiser that acts to raise awareness about the dog cat meat industry that kills over 40 million dogs and cats each year and places them under horrible conditions. But luckily we have organizations like Yoga Stops Yulin that not only puts their time, their energy and their efforts into raising awareness about this industry, but they also do a lot of rescue work where they take uh, dogs and cats from these places and puts them into uh, loving homes. So if you'd like to support Yoga Stops Yulin, I'll be putting some links in the description below. I strongly urge you to go check out their website and if you can also to make a donation. So to begin today's yin yoga class, we'll be starting things off with a sleeping swan. So coming onto all fours, going to be taking our left knee. Left knee is going to come forward, bending as close to 90 degrees. That feels right for your body. And the right leg is going to extend all the way back. Resting our weight onto our forearms. Taking as much time as we need to find a shape that feels right for you. And then once finding stillness, no fidgeting, no moving. Allowing the body to rest and be still. Allowing the mind to calm. Feeling into the breath, entering into our body, expanding the lungs, feeling the breath pause, and exhaling out throughout this next half an hour, we're going to be Grounding ourselves in each and every moment, experiencing the richness and beauty of life that can only ever be realized right here in the present moment. Mindfully, with full intention, turning our body back to center, experiencing every moment as we shift to the other side, bringing the right knee forward, left leg now extending backwards. Once again, placing our weight onto our forearms. Inviting for that beautiful sensation to arise within the right glutes. You may also be experiencing it in the left hip flexor as well. Breathing in, we calm the body. Breathing out, we calm the mind. 
giving our body the permission to release any tension that we may be harboring. Opening up our body to allow for that healing, soothing energy to flow throughout. Maintaining our mindfulness, maintaining our stillness. Gracefully raising our torso upwards, feeling into the mat, pressing ourselves up, coming into a seated position, legs extending outwards as we enter into this caterpillar, folding forward by the hips. Keeping the back disengaged, keeping the legs relaxed as well. It's not opposed to force ourselves. There's no need to reach your toes or so forth, but rather just take your body to where it feels right for you. And then it's never about forcing, but rather accepting Accepting our body where it's at in its current form and shape, which is perfectly fine. You may find with each breath that the body softens just that little bit more. Allowing it to naturally soften.
Taking a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Coming onto our backs. To enter into a dancer. So taking your arms, arms are going to spread out nice and wide into a T-shape. And with our knees bent, looking up towards the sky. I'm going to drop the knees now to our right hand. And then with our left, with our neck looking towards the left. Inviting that gentle spinal stretch to arise within the lower back. Allowing for that space to soften, any tension to melt away. Allowing for that beautiful life force energy to enter into the space and heal the body from within. Feeling into the breath, a beautiful breath, natural breath. Shifting the body upwards, allowing for the knees to recenter themselves. Just taking a little pause here just to shake out the body. Allowing for that sensation in the lower back to dissipate. And then when you're ready, we're going to shift to the other side. So dropping the knees now to the left hand side. Neck turning to the right. And continuing to ground our awareness into this present moment. Sometimes we may catch the mind wandering off into the past or the future. And if this is the case, just observe, allow it to pass and bring our awareness back to this beautiful present moment the level of sensation within the body or sensation within the breath. Experiencing the truth. Experiencing the bliss that can only be felt in the here and the now.
mindfully coming into a seated position. Taking our right arm, right arm is going to extend up to the sky, placing it onto our left ear, and then dropping, dropping our right ear to our shoulder. Inviting that beautiful sensation within the left neck to arise. Allowing for any tension in this space to melt away. And feeling, feeling into our breath, expanding and contracting. Shifting ourselves to the other side. So with our left hand coming towards onto our right ear. And then dropping down to our left shoulder. Feeling into the joy as we practice yin. The practice of yin is a joyful practice. Breathing in, we breathe in peace. And breathing out, we breathe out peace. Returning ourselves back to center. Coming onto our stomachs now. Keeping our hands shoulder width apart. And then pressing ourselves up into a seal pose. If this is too strong for you, you can also enter a sphinx as an alternative. But in seal, we ensure that we keep our body nice and disengaged, especially in the lower back region. No need to be forcing our muscles or Engaging our muscles, and it's not the practice of yin. And feeling into the stillness, cultivating the mind's naturally brightening. You may notice as we continue to cultivate this mindfulness that the mind stays within the moment very naturally. No need to be constantly bringing it back to this present moment. But the mind happily resides right here, right now.
bringing the hips backwards, sitting onto the mat, taking our left leg now, left leg is going to place itself on the mat, right knee is going to come over the top. And as we enter into the shoelace, we, we fold forward nice and softly, very mindfully, taking as much time as you need to find the shape that feels right for your body. Every single one of us has our own unique story to our body, our own unique shape. So for us, it's very important to listen to the innate wisdom that lies in each and every one of us. Your body knows what's best for you. And it's important that we tune into this. Feeling into the mats, pressing up our hands one by one, shifting ourselves to the other side. So right knee is going to place onto the mat, left leg is going to come over the top. Once again, folding forward. You need to reposition. Obviously, take as much time as you need. And then once finding shape, committing to stillness. Feeling into that into the left glute, softening. Allowing for this space to really open up.
gently entering into our final resting pose now, Shavasana. So shifting onto our backs, placing your hands by your side or on your stomach, whatever feels nicer for you. And as we lie here, we express gratitude for all of those people in the world who dedicate their time and energy to making a world a better place for those less fortunate. Groups like Yoga Stops Yulin, who do their best to help all of those dogs and cats in need. We reflect on this goodness of the world. We reflect on those who are trying to make the world a better place. We feel into that energy. What can we do? How can we contribute? What is our gift to give to this world? To make it a more beautiful, more loving, more compassionate place. At our own pace, coming to our sides and entering into a seated position. And to close things off, I would love to invite you to join me in the chant of Om. So placing our hands together in front of the heart space, closing down the eyes, taking a deep breath in and a long breath out and a breath in for Om. Om. And raising our hands to the forehead, may we, have may we have wholesome thoughts, to the lips, may we speak the truth, and to the heart, may we act with loving kindness. From my heart to yours, namaste.